It's been a really long day. You put in a good eight hours at work, then went to the gym, and you just picked up your children from their third or maybe fourth after-school activity. You're tired, overwhelmed, and just want to relax. But as you're coming home, you remember the pile of dishes still in the sink, the stack of mail on the counter. And the mountain of laundry that needs to be folded is not a welcoming sight, and definitely does not induce the zen you were after. Now imagine instead returning to a clean and clear home, where the dishes are already in the dishwasher, the mail has been sorted, filed, or recycled, and the laundry is folded and neatly stacked. Sounds like a fantasy, not at all. This could be your new reality. We use the word Zen to describe a feeling of peace, calm, and enlightenment. Its actual meaning is meditation. At the heart of it, Zen is all about creating a close bond with your own mind. Being in the Zen state means feeling at ease with your thoughts and understanding your own special space in the universe. Now I know that finding your Zen is not as easy as I make it sound. It involves discipline, practice, and years of commitment. But I do know that one of the best ways to feeling less overwhelmed and more at peace with the self, one of the best ways to find your Zen is to have a clean and clutter-free space to come home to. And I will convince you that if you take the time to create this space, you can find peace and calm. So let's make that scenario becomes less fiction and more fact. Let's find your Zen. I grew up in a home that was always neat and tidy. As a result, I loved being at home. My mom, my aunts prioritized cleanliness and organization. You could say that it's in our genes, but honestly, I think that. It's more nature than nurture, because every time I visited their homes, I felt happy, calm, and peaceful. It was such a pleasure to enter their space. I could never forget that. I wanted it for myself forever. So while most children roll their eyes when their parents tell them to keep their rooms tidy, I did it. I learned from an early age that having a clean room and a clutter-free space gave me a sense of calm. This is my Zen. When I become an adult, life just became busier and busier. I studied law, worked in a leading global service firm, and moved a lot. I also got married, which means I must now consider how a loved one needs their space and needs to find their zen too. We learn to communicate our needs, and most importantly, set expectations and responsibilities. Twenty-two years in, and I'm happy to report that rules do make for a more harmonious home. We were always moving in search of better opportunities. At one point, we moved to a different home every year for ten years. You would think that with this hectic life, I could have easily neglected my home. But more than ever, I needed the Zen, the calm and restful place at the end of the day to relax. And recharge for the next hectic day. 
And then we have kids. Now we all know that kids are hard to control and can be really messy. But kids are also little sponges who are excited to learn and do better. I taught them to put their toys away and keep their rooms tidy, just like how my mom and aunts taught me. And slowly but surely, my own children learned and even began to value their tidy space to create it. Because they too need Zen, their own cozy space to relax, dream, and be inspired. So, how can we find our Zen at home? How can we create an environment that brings calm and peace? How can we transform the spaces we have now to comfort and well-being? Don't worry, you don't have to do a major renovation or even hire a special interior designer for this. Creating a Zen-like space is totally achievable. And I have three simple steps to help you get started. The first and easiest is to declutter and simplify. Start by taking a good look at what you have lying around. Do you really need all those old books or those decorative items? Probably not. But don't throw them out just yet. If they could be useful for others, you can donate them to a local charity or thrift store. I promise you, less is actually more. Then organize what's left. Put things away in cupboards or drawers if you hardly use them. Or get some storage containers to keep things neat and tidy. Think about taking before and after pictures of the same space. You will be amazed at the change you created. The next thing you can do is to bring the outside in. Elements like plants, water features, or natural materials like wood and stone can make your home look more beautiful and can give a sense of calm and balance in your space. If you're not sure where to start, try adding low maintenance plants, herbs, or a small water feature like a tabletop fountain. These small things can make a big impact on your mood and environment. If you're short on ideas, you can always go on Pinterest or Instagram for inspiration. And finally, in order to truly capture the Zen at home, it's important to create a space where you can relax and unwind. It could be a cozy corner in your living room with a comfortable armchair a quiet corner in your study room with cushions near the window, or even a special room with calming decor and soft lighting. The beauty of a relaxation space is that it can be whatever you want it to be, a place to read, meditate, or listen to music. Give yourself permission to unwind from your daily activities and recharge for the next day in this wonderful space you made. There are still many more ways to create a stress-relieving sanctuary at home, but we can simply that with these three. Declutter and simplify. Bring in nature and create a cozy space to relax and recharge. Finding your Zen is an ongoing process. It's important to trust yourself and have fun with it. Your home isn't just a shelter. It's a precious space for you and your family. 
It's a retreat where you find inspiration. It's an oasis of calm and tranquility. Start taking small steps. Embrace the power of creating your own space, and enjoy the resulting tranquility, balance, and deeper connection with yourself. Thank you.